the beast is back in its position, tucked away. Our cam's got the R32 up on the hoist. We're gonna do some extended LCAs, um, or potentially just take the R33 LCAs out of that because they're bigger than R32, and put them in this just for a bit more uh, camber and better fitment. Um, then I'll get onto the cooler piping and whatnot. Um, and we're gonna do 10 mil slip-on spaces for that little bit extra lock, where we delete the lock stops and those uh, those fun things. And then the 10 cent, 10 cent mod while we're at it. It's coming right! Oh, I farted. <laughs> I'll drive this up. That's pretty much it for the jobs that we're doing. Um, let's have a look at these, these new things we've got. The uh, Shockworks just dropped this off yesterday. And let's do some unboxing of things. Now, I haven't seen the, their new designs. So the last time I've run Shockworks is in the 31JZ Wags. Um, these guys know what's up. Um, they've always been the one of the top competitors in Shocks. Um, a lot of the top top guys run it for the most grip. Especially when you got a bit of power. Um, yeah, but they're, they're really dialing in their dampening. So, because um, we decided to steal the coilovers out of this to put in that, I figured um, I'm sure the guest drivers are going to want to have a, a pretty competitive car, so why not chuck some shock works in it? So, my car, the 33, actually has um, some G radios. I'm really happy with them. Um, so I'm not going to really change, I'm not going to play with the setup now that I'm happy. I prefer to just um, drive it and enjoy it for a bit and maybe later on um, we'll sort something out with the Shockworks to get something in there. But yeah, uh, they look really nice, they've changed, changed from their orange to a new gunmetal, which is looking nice. So these are obviously the front or rear? I think these might be front. Don't know. <laughs> I haven't looked at Chucks in ages. Um, but really tough looking setup, nice, really big solid um, piston for the shock. It's probably got a bit different name, but no, ain't no shock main. Uh, they're all base height, they're solid bushes. Go on, Gary. <laughs> uh, got their laser engraved logo on there. Uh, I'm not sure how much point dampening they are, probably 36 or something like that from memory. I can't remember, but I think what they've decided to do, have they marked them on there? What, um, spring rate? No, so it doesn't look like they. Oh, no, they do. Yeah, so these, yeah, these are rear. So this is five kilo, I think. <laughs> I'm definitely guessing right now, but I'm pretty sure we went through it. So we're going five kilo on the rear, nice and soft. You get a bit of squat and mad grip. And then um, he's gone nine kilo, so something a bit stiffer than normal. Normally, you know, most setups like my car is eight, eight front, six rear. We've gone nine front with some um, good dampening setup uh, settings. So it still has like 20 mil of travel, I think they said. And then the rear is um, a, a bit more dialed in dampening settings. So it's it actually, you know, the, the damper works harder um, than the spring kind of kind of dealio which keeps it stiffer and sort of sitting level and nice when you're throwing it around so it ends up handling a bit more like a go-kart but then still has that that squat um uh grip and and bite to the ground when you when you get the wheel spinning which is sick so I'm pretty keen to see how this thing goes with these in them uh, see if i can get a front out and have a look at that it's going to be right underneath there Scratch the boys. Even comes with some nice gloves in there. Nice locking ring spanners. I actually still got my um, my spanners. Still use them today from the WAG and the 33. They just stay in the center console whenever I need. Cause they're top quality, <laughs> top quality spanners. There yeah, we go. From what I think is the front. That makes sense. Being a bigger, bigger platform. Nice wrapping here, guys. Very short shocks, aren't they? 
And what have we got? It's like impossible to see the markings on these things. I'm blind. Uh, it definitely does not look like it's on there. Let's see if it's on these ones. That's a negative. Anyway, pretty sure they're fronts and they're nine kilo and they look excellent. Pretty funny comparison. These um, top quality, like uh, $2,000 or so um, shocks versus the, um, I've still got the, the max speeds over there. $300 shock, it'll be interesting to see uh, a comparison. <laughs> you know, the cheapest shock in the history compared to a still well priced but much better quality shock. Alright, I'm getting out of here, let Gary do his thing and back for some um, Kang mods. Alrighty, I got the 32 on the hoist, ready to pull out the the lower control arms. I'm going to put some, what are they, the 15mm extended LCAs, um, done by Tori from Kamikaze Fab probably about uh, two and a half years ago. Um, we're going to think about chucking the ones from the 33 in, but measuring them up, uh, they're about five mil total difference, um, like if for stock for stock. So putting the 15 mil ones in is really going to be like extending these 20 mil. Um, yeah, pretty simple to undo. I normally will start off by just pulling out the slip pin out of the lower, uh, the ball joint, um, then crack all the bolts loose. So the nut here, two nuts there, bolt and nut, bolt and nut. Um, I normally just pull the cast drum out because it's that easy. Um, and yeah, try just do that. <laughs> you spray everything, I already sprayed everything with uh, WD-40, but um, you mostly need a, a 22, 22 for the nut, for the uh, ball joint nut, 17 mil yes they're all 17s pretty much besides that one um yeah i'll just do it now yeah i've got everything off just need to get that ball joint broken through. The biggest hammer I got is this one. Need a whack right on the knuckle. Super hard to do while filming, but I'll try. Try with both hands. I got it out. Legit, as soon as I took the camera away, next hit, got it out. <laughs> trust but yeah as you can see it's probably about mm, i think i measured it before and it was like 20 mil so this is only extended 15 mil being an r33 one so there's only five mil difference in these two so just yeah chuck it in the, this this nugget not nuggets actually actually a beast Woo! <laughs> good old james but um yeah i can just slide that ass in there like that Pretty much, yeah. Push the ball joint in. I'll get the cast drum in first. Push the ball joint in, put the nut on. Piece of cake, really. <coughs> Doesn't really take that long. But I'll get on to that now. Got it all in, all tight. Um, now, because obviously now we've extended out the um, the LCA, so it's gonna do this one, tow out a lot. So next thing is, uh, I'll straighten the wheel first, but you pull off this thing, which I've already pulled off. Um, you gotta 
whack this uh, locking ring out. So peel it away, there's one, two, three, four, either side. Um, and then get your, I don't think I have it. Yeah, get your adjustable wrench and a 21 mil, I believe. So you can hold the rack and crack it loose without damaging the rack. And yeah, wind that out. Then we've got this uh, five mil spacer right here. That'll go straight on. Then yeah, we'll have to adjust the, the toe accordingly when we drop it on the ground. Um, yeah, very simple, easy mod. Um, and you make sure you, I like to put Loctite on them when, when I do it back up. And yeah, you pull off the locking ring and whatever the hell this thing is. It's like a seal or something, but don't know, getting rid of it. Um, yeah, make sure you pull off the locking ring because that will still bottom out. And then it defeats the purpose of doing the 5 mil spacer. But yeah, let's do that. Now you got your boy rock tight. Dab a little bit on that ass. Like that. Put this thing on the ground. Get your... 5 mil spacer, right here, slide that ass on, and this part might be a bit tricky because I only have one hand, maybe not, straight in, <laughs> yeah, just tighten that up, and then bam, you got your 5 mil extended rack ends, perfect. Leave them loose as well. Forget about that ass. Done. Not really. Tighten that up. And then I'll, uh, yeah, suss how the toe looks. Already done this side. But, um, yeah. Yeah, obviously. Tying out like a beach. So <laughs> let's hope there's heaps of adjustment in here. Probably not. But it should be right. So now I've got the uh, rack end and tie right end nut loose. And I've got my ruler here. So... We've obviously uh, 20 mil uh, extended LCAs, which we've already put the five mil spacer in. So I want to bring it out 15 mil. So just obviously wind this. Just watch that gap right here. <sighs> Bit awkward to turn. Look at the flick of the wrist. <laughs> Uh, have a look at that. Probably not enough, but uh, it's only 10 mil. Another five. I don't even know if I'm filming in the right spot. Uh, a bit more. Uh, pretty much one more turn, or two more turns, I reckon. Let's see, what's that? pretty much it so now wind this off but I'm also not 100% sure how much threads actually going in here so now I've got where I want it to be I'm gonna wind it all the way out just to double check it make sure that it's not you know if it was that much thread going into it I would not want that to be right I wouldn't want that at all wouldn't trust that Especially on a car we're giving away. Maybe it was my truck car, I wouldn't really care, but <laughs> I don't care about my life. Someone else? Yes, gotta be right. So right there, that's stark enough, enough thread to go in there, so that's not coming out. Looking perfect. See how far it goes. Still not coming out. Yeah, that's pretty much it there. There we go. So that's heaps of thread, I think. Uh, now I'm going to have fun trying to get it in with one hand. Ah, and it's in. Victory. <laughs> cool. All right, I'll wind all the way back. Lock it off. My back is actually killing me right now because I'm on the, on the Halloween. <laughs> so I can see the camera and make sure I'm not filming over here like I always do. But there we go. That's it. Pretty much it. I lock that off, put the wheels on, drop on the ground. Oh my god, my back. <laughs> and yeah, obviously can't really tell because it's on a hoist and the wheels are off. But yeah, somewhat okay. I think we're going to take it down to Rayleigh Garage um, for Lee to work his magic, get this thing not chewing out tyres and perfect. Oh yeah, I'll probably give these a quick lick of paint. 
was gonna do it out of the car, but couldn't be stuffed. <laughs> and I'm gonna assume this is the solenoid. I gotta do the 10 cent mod trick on. Normally they're here on the 33s. I'm gonna assume that's it. Might pull it out and have a sus, see what it's like. But yeah, awesome. Now let's lock that nut off and drop it on the ground. There we have it. Tying out a little bit. It looks really good, but at least it matches up the rear now with how much camber it has. And it is, I also lowered it a touch more. Can't even think fit my finger in there. So it's definitely gonna scrub. <laughs> Might have to pump the guards a little bit more. But yeah, all in all, camber looks good. Nothing like ridiculous. It's pretty, pretty mild for 20 mil extended, but yeah, looks good. Definitely looks so much better now because it before it was just too too straight up. Something about it looked weird, but I think that's me done for today. Oh, um, I took it off just the front post just so I could see how well it looks and how 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 nice it looks. Get a photo and obviously show the video. But I'll come back tomorrow morning <clears throat> and I'll do that 10 cent mod and then I'll start on the mounting up the forward facing other uh, sorry front mount cooler and then yeah working out the cooler piping um this stuff came with the car so i'll have to make something out of that try to make it work but it shouldn't be too bad but at least i get to finally do some welding being so long but yeah all right laters